What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video and welcome to a recipe video. So you guys know from our main channel that I love Disney World. We go there all the time. Um, unfortunately, we were unable to go so far this year, but you never know what's going to happen. But the one thing that Sam and I have not done is gone on a Disney cruise. However, you know me, I'm always on Pinterest and I'm always looking for a fun drink to try to make Weight Watchers friendly. Now, I am in several drinking groups for Disney, like drinking around the world, day drinking, that kind of thing. And a non-alcoholic drink from the Disney cruise ships crossed my, crossed my Facebook feed and I went, hmm, that sounds interesting. It's called a pineapple mint iced tea. I was like, oh, I love iced tea. There's no tea in this drink. It literally consists of three ingredients. Pineapple juice, ginger ale, and peppermint syrup. I went, that's not an iced tea, but it sounds delicious. So let's get started and let's make it and see how it tastes. recipe which I will link in the description below directly from Disney Cruise Line calls for five ounces of pineapple juice. When I was looking online to see how much the little individual cans of pineapple juice were they were six points. It was three ounces for of it was three points for five ounces of pineapple juice which left me with one ounce of pineapple juice. Now granted my husband Sam would happily drink it but I'm like I don't want to have to worry about just measuring this weighing it out that that's crazy and I, I I don't and I don't want to spend the extra points to use the whole can so when I was looking at this I ran across what was called white pineapple juice drink from Dole and this is what it looks like and it says it's new and the whole can which is six fluid ounces and it is 40 calories per can this whole can is only two points I'm like wait a minute this whole drink could be only two points because the peppermint syrup I have is from Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, and it is sugar-free. I got it from Amazon and I'll link it below. And the last ingredient, which is ginger ale, you can get zero sugar Canada Dry. I'm like, two points for a drink, count me in. So I have me a glass right here. I am a big drinker of Starbucks water, water in a cup, Trying to zero points and it is free at Starbucks at least locally so I've got my cup and I went to my favorite place for ice which is Sonic fill up to that first line there and then I'm gonna shake up my pineapple juice and pour in I love that I can just pop and pour. That is what I wanted for this recipe. I wanted it to be super simple and not be amazingly complicated. This is something that you could totally make and then run out the door. I didn't want to have to waste a whole bunch of time measuring anything. The next ingredient, it says half an ounce of sugar-free syrup, but I'm just, and I'm going to actually weigh that out because I am the person that will pour way too much. And I have my little food scale here. And of course I put like 70, 0.7 ounces, but zero points, so it's fine. It'll be okay. And then I've got my ginger ale. Now typically, I'm not a ginger ale girl. I'm a Sprite girl. Um, I'm assuming that they use ginger ale to make it look like tea. Um, but I'm interested to know how this would taste with zero sugar Sprite, which I do have on hand. So this, it may be a new, another video just to see how that tastes. So I'm pouring in my ginger ale. Yeah, the ginger ale I think is purely for the color because it now has kind of a tea look to it. I didn't use that much, but it's zero points, so I'm good with that. Now, 100%, if you wanted to make this fully dump and pour, you could buy the little can, the mini cans of zero sugar ginger ale, but that to me is a waste because you probably would need more than one can. Now, the instructions say to shake in a glass and pour. It's soda. It's going to bubble. I'm not going to do that. 
but I mixed everything together and here's what it looks like. You can see it looks a little bit like tea. To me, it has to me the look of an Arnold Palmer when you've put more um, lemonade than tea in it. If you wanna know how I know that, my husband is a huge Arnold Palmer drinker. Add a little bit more ice and stir. All right, here is our drink. This is the Peppermint Pineapple Mint Iced Tea from the Disney Cruise Line in Weight Watchers Friendly Form. So let's taste and see what we got. It's definitely different. It's very refreshing, it's very light. Um, you can taste the pineapple, you can taste the mint. It's very minty. Again, definitely did a little bit of an overpour. Um, definitely, I think if you have pumps for your syrups, I definitely think that will make would make a difference in the amount of syrup. You're able to control it a little bit more than you are simply by pouring. But definitely, if you are wanting something, maybe you know that you're going over to... Um, a friend's house for a barbecue and you want it to taste light and fruity but you don't want to spend the points on the alcohol because let's face it if we're going to a barbecue we know there's tons of really great fruit around you could definitely take the supplies to make this there and have your own fruity drink that is going to cost you two points for the whole thing it's definitely growing on me um, like I said, I am not a huge ginger ale person, so I'm definitely um, interested to see how this will taste with zero sugar Sprite. My husband's really excited that I tried this recipe because he has a full bottle, pretty much a full bottle of ginger ale to drink. <laughs> so it's it's not like it's going to go to waste. Um, to be honest, if he wouldn't have tried, if he doesn't, didn't drink ginger ale, I probably wouldn't have tried this recipe. I knew I had a backup, that the ginger ale wasn't just going to sit and go flat. So, I am going to pop my lid onto my drink. And I'm going to go tan, because I've got a fruity drink to sip on while I'm outside enjoying the sunshine. So, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, the link for this will be in the description. There's two different recipes on it because the PDF is directly from Disney Cruise Line. And if you if you try it, please let me know what you think. And be watching for when I remake this with Sprite Zero Sugar. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.